John Fugel saying, you crafty, funny fellow you, I saw your video on why you vote. I took that as a personal challenge from you to me. So challenge accepted. With that out of the way, my name is Dr. Tracy Pearson, and I am the host of What We Don't Know with Dr. Tracy. I am the writer of the Substack, Deeper Thoughts. I am found everywhere under Tracy Explains. And yes, I appear on Sirius XM Progress Channel 127 on Tell Me Everything with John Fugel saying. Why do I vote? I could not make a video long enough to explain to you why I vote. So I'm going to try to keep this short. I'm going to try. Number one, my parents taught me it was important to vote. Every year we'd go to the high school, even when I was itty bitty little, and we would wait in line. And I would fidget and I would want to go home. And my parents would stay the course, they would persist, and they would go in and they would cast their ballots. And I would go into the booth with my mom. And they taught me that voting was important. It was something that they weren't willing to walk away from. So when I turned 18, I started to vote. And I voted in every single election. I voted in primaries, in midterms, in general elections, in special elections. I voted in all of them because I know that in this great big country of ours, everybody has one vote. We each have one voice. And that's how we make it heard when it comes to elections. There are other ways of making it heard, but the elections are really important. Remember, my mom and dad persisted even with a wiggly little child. So I vote because it's important. It's important because, and I wanna draw this down as, as finely as I can to you to something that maybe many people haven't talked about in quite this way. I want you to think about your workplaces, all of them that you've been in. Everybody has been in a situation where decisions have been made by people who were higher up. And it felt like you were on the menu. They were bad decisions. They were crap decisions. They were decisions that hurt you, that hurt others, that hurt the company. But you weren't at the table to help them make that decision. Your vote is your ability to be at the table. A decision, which is not a decision, it's a cowardly act to not vote. You're choosing, I guess, if you, if you call it that, to not be at the table and let others make decisions for you. Really? That's what you're gonna do this year? With all the things that are on the menu? All of them? Healthcare, children, women, economy, democracy itself? Come on, vote, it's important. So this year, I am voting for Kamala Harris, and here's why. She listens. She is willing to learn. She doesn't have to know everything. She's going to work well with people. Can you put a campaign together in 100 days? I dare you to try. I've worked at the national level on a Democratic incumbent campaign, not Biden's campaign. And I'll tell you, what this woman has accomplished in 100 days working with other people blows my socks off. I am voting for Kamala Harris because she's a woman. Yes, because she is a woman. I have lived my entire life without seeing a woman as president. So did my mom. So did her mom. So did her mom before her. Women have been leading. They have been leading in every industry for decades. They lead in classrooms. Think about who your first teacher was or your elementary school teachers, your high school teachers, some of your college professors who were in the classroom. Women. Think about healthcare. There are women doctors. Think about science. There are women researchers. Think about corporate America. There are women in corporate America who are leading. 
Women are leaders. They listen, they collaborate and work well with people. They can multitask. They can get shit done. Think about it. You know a woman in your life? They can get shit done. So it is time that we meet the challenge and that we vote for Kamala Harris because it's time to put a woman in the Oval Office. I mean, the men have had it long enough and it's time for a woman to show us how she leads. It's time. It's time because when I look at that ceiling, there are so many cracks in that glass. I mean, I can almost see a hole. And I think if we all band together, Kamala will kick right through it. She's a badass. So, Madam Vice President, I'm counting on you. I'm behind you all the way. You've got my vote. Now, go out there. I know you're tired. You've worked hard. But you met the challenge. And I want you to lead us to victory. I want to see you sworn in. I want to see a woman in the Oval Office because you check all of my boxes. You don't need luck. You've got this. We're behind you. Let's go.